All right, peeps, what's going on with your happy Saturday? Uh, let me see. I'm going to have to clean my screen off a little bit. Hold on. Looking a little sketchy. What's going on, people? Happy Saturday. Let me see what we doing here. Uh, where we at? Uh, Adele in the building. What's going on, Adele? She said, hello, Mr. Sox. Working, uh, working on, uh, late homework and just got off. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> but I get to catch a, uh, catch a live. Catch a live. Let's go. You know? Uh, let me see. Let me see. We got Melissa Lyles. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. We got Nat in the building. Thank you so much for, uh, liking it up. All right. So we're going to get into that thing. Um, First off, uh, I got a couple things. So, uh, thank you guys so much for coming to the live. I appreciate y'all. Uh, so, we got a few things going on. We got our YouTube channel. Make sure y'all go subscribe to the YouTube. Um, link is in the bio for that. Um, we have uh, our courses dropping soon. Um, and we're also working on uh, getting volunteers from the fan bam. Uh, everybody who pretty much know my operation. Uh, so, I talked to Ms. Wilson um yesterday and she said mr socks you need help you need more help because you stretch like super thin so i'm gonna be looking for uh people in the uh in a facebook group to um to help me out with like emails sending out uh the the um uh what you call it the designs that we give out every day um as well as people um you know that's registering for the procreate class uh so i'm gonna I'm be asking for uh volunteers for that you know probably like an hour a day um or maybe not even that doesn't take that long maybe 15 minutes um but i do need help in order to uh you know put out more content for you guys um i want to do a um a kids youtube uh for for the kids that want to learn how to do socks i know you guys uh kids come in sometimes and y'all see and uh they see me y'all watching me so i want to do something for them uh specifically uh, spe specifically for them uh so that i can you know start to make socks for them um and the characters that they want all right so i'm going to be uh focusing on that soon uh for the youtube uh, so when that drops, uh, you know, the first couple of videos, I'll let you guys know um, so, the, so that you can see if you can look it up on a YouTube for the kids um, and then they can, you know, be able to watch me as well. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, I think that was it. Uh, so we got the procreate class starts September 7th. So if you want to get into that class, feel free to get in that thing. Uh, we just finished up with another class, which is, I believe, uh, cohort eight uh, just finished their their fifth week. Um, so I'm proud of them. Thank you so much for, for all the support and for everybody who's come, who comes in, um, and learns, uh, procreate from me. All right. So what we're going to do today is for all the coffee drinkers, for all the Starbucks, uh, fanatics, we're going to do this, this design for you guys. All right. So we did this in procreate here. So it's a lot of different characters, uh, in the procreate or in the, uh, sorry, in the uh, Starbucks logo. All right, so we got some Star Wars in there. We got some Disney in there. Um, let me see. Let me see what else. We got some uh, Adventure Time in there. All right, so we got some, uh, some uh, what is that? Despicable Me in there. So it's a couple things in there. Um, so all for all the, all the Starbucks and, and coffee drinkers, this one is for y'all. Uh, let me see. Let me see who up in here. We got Miss Tish up in this thing. What's going on? Um... We got uh, Pamela in here. Happy Saturday. Let me see. Uh, Tayana, or uh, I believe I'm saying it right. I'm sorry, Miss Perez uh, said, Today's a beautiful day because you're blessing the world with your smile. Thank you so much for being here, my love. Uh, happy Saturday. Uh, let me see. Uh, Pamela, thank you so much for, uh, for the follow. I appreciate you. We got Rebecca. Thank you so much for the follow. Um... Let me see. Uh, Kaori, thank you so much for the follow. Tayana, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Uh, B, uh, B Creations, thank you so much for the follow. Jay Marie up in the building. What's going on, Prima? I see you. Uh, Adele said, ooh, coffee. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Little Lizzie says, Stitch. You see a Stitch up in that thing. You know? Uh, let me see. Jay Marie said, ooh, I, I'm going to need that print for a fact. Let's go. 
You know? Uh, let me see. Let me see where we at. Where we at? Uh, we got Cat in the building. What's going on, Cat? Cat said, "Oh my God, that that design, <laughs> huge Mickey fan." And uh, and my son loves Stitch. I I love Stitch. I actually have a Stitch keychain. Uh, Stitch is my man, so uh, I love Stitch too. Um, let me see. Tanika, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Adele said, "Oh, I need that. Let's go." <laughs> Tiff, gang, gang, what's going on with you, Tiff? Thank you so much for coming to the live. All my moderators in here, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so uh, so much for all the help and keeping uh, the environment positive. I appreciate you guys so much every single day. Um, let me see. Uh, Forever Care Bear back in the building. What's going on with you? Um, let me see. Uh, Tink's monogram and things said, hey, what's up? What's going on with you? Thank you so much for coming to the live. We got baby mama in the building. Uh, B Creation says, uh, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, people. I hope y'all having a great day. I hope uh, y'all feel the love in the air because I, I always send it to you guys before I even get on here uh, and try to show y'all as much love um, as I can show y'all because it's not enough in the world. Uh, so I, that's why every day, all day, I tell you guys that I love y'all so much because I absolutely do. And I believe in uh, all y'all dreams and, and all y'all goals. I believe in y'all and I know y'all can achieve them things, you know? Uh, Tanika, hey girl, what's going on with you? <laughs> you know, thank you so much for coming to the live. You know, Gizzy in the building, what's going on, my man? Thank you so much for coming to the live, bro. We got Miss Wilson up in here. You know, um, <laughs> she said, right, coffee is my BFF. I see you. You know, uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, Andrea up in here, what's going on with you? We got bells in the building. Uh, let me see. Tanika said, I need a uh, stitch ASAP. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. You know, uh, we got uh, Miles in the building. What's going on, Miles? I'm great. Um, I appreciate you guys coming. Every time I, I get to come in here and call this a job, uh, this is like the dream for me. So I am absolutely wonderful. I, I, I'm so appreciative uh, that you guys come see me every single day. So I love y'all so much for that. Cat uh, said um, he has a stitch, a stitch, uh, Cincy, <laughs> Cincy warmer. Uh, and uh, a Cincy. What is a Cincy? <laughs> Come on, cat. Tell me what a Cincy is. I ain't had a baby in a couple years now. Tell me what a Cincy is. You know? Uh, buddy Stitch and hands large. Let's go. Uh, uh, Adele said, yes. Um, uh, uh, spend nothing but love. Let's go. Um, Tiff said, uh, these comments hard to read against uh, your white shirt. Uh, got me feeling blah. Let's go. <laughs> It's that's so funny. Uh, you gotta like, I don't even know if y'all can swipe that thing on here. Hold on, let me see because I'm actually watching it from my iPad so I can like answer y'all questions. So let me see, let me see, let me see. Maybe I need to pull, uh, pull it up some, uh, just so y'all can see me and not and not my shirt. So I'm sorry about that. Hold on, let me see. Let me uh bring this back up. All right, maybe that's a little bit better. Uh, uh, let me see. We got D Money up in here. What's going on with you, bro? Thank you so much for coming to the live. Jay Marie said, "I'm on my way home from work. Glad to be off work. Uh, be uh, black. Glad to be off work tomorrow. Let's go. Y'all need to rest yourself. I know y'all rip and run all all day every day, but please uh take some time to refresh, to relax, um, and get your head um you know ready for you know the next week or whatever." Uh, take the time to do that because y'all, y'all, I know y'all run, run, run. Um, we don't want that for you. We want you to to recuperate. Um, so let me see, let me see. Uh, oh, cat said it's a wax warmer. Gotcha. All right, Pamela said, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. We're gonna get into that thing. So this is again, this is our design for the day. All right, so we're gonna flip that screen and we're gonna get started. All right. So I got like a, a new uh, little holder here for my phone. So it, it, it looked like it's a little shaky, um, but I'm, I'm going to see how it does uh, for the live. And then uh, if I got to send it back, I'll do that. All right. So what we're going to do here is I'm, I'm going to show you guys everything that I use as far as materials. Um, and then we're going to get into that thing. So if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Mr. Socks. I'm going to uh, show you guys how to, uh, to make custom sublimation socks. So let's get into that thing. All right. First thing, uh, uh, first things first, we're going to use a sock jig. So this is a sock jig. Uh, we use it to stabilize our sock as well as uh, to uh, 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 stretch it out so that we can have the best color 
when we go to put it on our leg. All right. So uh, the 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 main part of of uh, doing socks is to make sure that you can keep your color. And this sock jig, because it's uh, four and a half inches, it will show you, or it will stretch it out enough uh, so that you can print on. Uh, your design and then still hold uh, that vibrant color all right because sometimes when you have a sock jig that's too small and then you go to put it on your leg it kind of distorts the image um and because it's not stretched out enough all right so we got that then we have our uh our sock here this is a gilded sock uh that i got from amazon uh they have it for uh 12 a 12 pack for 17.99 um i have a link in, in the bio for everything that i'm i'm talking about all right, so you can go get that. Um, and again, this is Gildan. Uh, it's 96% polyester, 3% spandex. All right, so we got that. Again, we have our design here. This is not sub paper. This is regular copy paper. For all who don't know that I use uh, regular copy paper. All right, so we have that. We also have our al alcohol, which is what we're going to use to clean our sock jig. All right, and then we have our heat tape. All right, and then we have... Our secret weapon which is aluminum foil sheets let's go all right so if you don't know what the process is uh, stay tuned to see what we do with the aluminum foil so let's get into that thing all right so what we're gonna do first is we're going to clean off our sock jig all right with our alcohol so let's spray our our uh, microfiber cloth here and we're just going to wipe it down all right up here uh, at the top we don't have to uh, wipe the whole thing um, because the ink is not, um, you know, penetrating through the sock. It's just kind of where the, um, the paper hangs over the sock. Um, so this is, this is what we're using. All right. To, uh, to clean it. So we have that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to load our sock onto the sock jig. So we're just going to place it under our neck here. We're going to stretch out the sock and slide it on to our sock jig here. All right. So we have that what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our lines are straight we're going to make sure that our sock is straight we don't want any zigzags uh in our our lines uh because however we press um our design on um our sock is how it'll look on our leg all right so all of this zigzag action we don't want right so we're going to straighten that out here by rolling our edges all right so we got that so we're going to flip it over here, do the same thing. All right, so we got that. This is how it should look. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to make sure that we have those lines going from top to bottom. All right, so we got that. Let's load our next one here. We'll do the same thing. Stretch it out. Slide it onto the sock jig here. And then we'll begin to, uh, to uh, get these zigzags out of here. All right, so let's roll our edges. All right, so we have that. So we got that. Let's see. All right, so this looks pretty good. This is how it should look, both sides. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to lint roll our sock before we uh, prepare our artwork here. All right, so we're just going to lint roll it here. We don't uh, want any of uh, the fibers. Uh, that we can't see on the sock we don't want them to stay there because they will heat up once we put them under the heat press um and it'll show up on our sock so we don't want that so we're just going to lint roll it before we uh wrap our sock here all right so we have that now what we're going to do is we're going to uh prepare our artwork so i'm going to point you guys uh down at the table here so we can get into that all right all right, so we got that. Let me see, uh, check and see if you guys have questions. Let's see, let's see. Oh, <laughs> uh, Mala said it's a wax warmer, silly. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know, Mala, you know. That's all I'm saying. Let me see. Uh, all over 3D shirt said, uh, yo, yo, uh, Dallas check in. Let's go. Thank you so much for coming to the live. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, we got San Doris in the building. What's going on, Cuzzo? Um, let me see. Where we at? For every, for every Care Bear said, I need advice to know uh, what's a good heat press to buy 
um and from where so i would suggest getting your heat press from amazon um and that's only because uh you you can see the reviews um and whether people like it or not uh so i always recommend uh getting your heat press uh from um from amazon so it just depends on whether you want to get it uh to where it opens like this or it swivels right so that you know that's your preference but uh you have to figure out which you know which setup you want all right um jay marie said oh my god uh it got ariel in there <laughs> i love the little mermaid let's go uh let me see matter of fact all of these like the stitch uh wasn't even colored in so i had to color these in by hand um using procreate uh so um it it actually was just all black and white and the only thing that was color was this one uh but i decided you know because this was pretty much in the middle um i i just you know added the um the color in the area in the stitch so uh that's pretty much what took me so long um and why i'm late because i had to color it in by hand all right um let me see tiff said oh i got my package today let's go tiff tiff got her socks today let's go uh crafty uh what is that crafty crafts designs what's going on with you uh sandora said princess tiana i didn't see a princess tiana uh maybe i have to make it myself that would actually be dope so um i might have to incorporate that uh on another design because I, I couldn't find tiana anywhere all right uh forever care bear said um can you use uh ankle socks also yes i also print uh ankle socks I don't do it too often, but I did do um, a tutorial on here where uh, we just use ankle socks. All right. Um, let me see. Let me see. Uh, Tiff, thank you so much for promoting. Uh, Miles, thank you so much for uh, for promoting. Let me see. J.I. said, um, where are you located? So I'm from originally from uh, Philadelphia, um, but I'm located right now in Houston, Texas. All right. So I've been here for about two years now. Uh, thank you so much for coming to the live. Let me see. Uh, Sandora said, trying to make uh, seamless socks. I was successful at making a stamp brush. Let's go. Let's go. The stamp brush and procreate. That's what I'm talking about. You know? Uh, I am Scarlet Star said, uh, what size paper uh, is that um, that I use? So I use uh, eight and a half by 11. So this is an eight and a half by 11 print. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Where we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, Tori said, definitely staying to see the finishing product uh, or the finished product uh, would go good with a shoe project I'm working on. Let's go. Let me see. Thank you so much for being here. Um, Sharnika said, uh, can I use Procreate on Android devices? Unfortunately, uh, you cannot use uh, Procreate on um, any other device other than Apple products. All right. So um, only an iPad or an iPhone. All right um let's see let's see we got kita in the building kita said hey hey y'all what's going on with you thank you so much for coming to the live we got nicole in the building said what's good people uh what we up to so we doing this uh this starbucks design for all the starbucks drinkers uh my wife included uh, <laughs> uh the the expensive um coffee uh let me see sandora said uh you make uh seamless look easy cuz <laughs> thank you so much for that we got a uh, what is that uh Karazin? i don't know i'm sorry i'm butchering that thing from uh, uh bronx new york thank you so much for being here let's get into this thing all right so what we're going to do here next is we're going to cut off this uh this white space here because we don't need it all right so let's do that here we're just going to place it face down or uh place it down here all right and then we're just going to get as close as we can get to the design so let's do that without uh going into the uh to the design here all right so let's uh kind of measure that off that looks pretty good we want to make sure that it, uh the paper is even and put together uh because we don't want to cut into the uh design below it all right so we got that we're done with this here and now we're going to wrap our sock all right so let's do that here so we're going to place this face down the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place our sock face down on uh the design here right so we can place it in the middle and then what we're going to do is we're going to fold it here and then we're going to fold it again all right so once we fold it we're going to overlap it here let me uh see if you guys can actually see all right so there we go so what we're going to do is we're going to uh overlap it here 
and then we're going to make sure that uh, both sides of the paper are lined up evenly all right and then we're just going to tape it here all right then we're going to take the middle all right and then we'll take the bottom here and then we'll do what we call our filler so we're going to tape here all right and tape here all right the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh tape up our seam here all right so let's do that here So we just want to tape up our seam and the reason for all of the tape is just to make sure that we don't have any movement when we go to uh, print this all right because when we have movement we have ghosting which means that our image is not going to be crisp uh on our on our sock here all right so we're going to tape it to the sock jig on both sides this is how it should look all right now let's tape up the next one and then we'll get to any questions you have before we get to our aluminum foil all right so let's move this up a bit all right, we're going to place it in the middle again here. And we're going to fold it, overlap it here. And then we're going to tape it here. Tape it in the middle. And then tape the bottom here. And then we'll do our fillers. All right, so I might have to move this camera because I see it shaking with me, um, you know, doing... Uh, you know pressing against the table uh, so I might have to move this so we just gonna finish this up real quick and then I'll see if I can move it real quick all right so we're gonna tape up our seams here tape it to the sock jig on both sides all right this is how it should look both sides and we're good to go let me see if uh, I can move this real quick before we uh before we get into our uh, all right, I'm gonna have to take y'all off because I don't want to drop y'all. So give, give me a second. Hold on. Let me see. See if we can get this done. All right. I'm always doing something throughout our lives. Lord, let me see. Let me see. Hold on. All right, I think we're good. Oh, this might be a game changer. Let's go. All right, hold on. Let me try to. All right, hold on. Hold on. This might. Oh, come on, somebody. <laughs> come on, somebody. All right, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, this is about to be a game changer out of this thing. You know? Uh, let me see. <laughs> let me see. Um, uh, I don't even know what that say. Uh, M empty, uh, M Empyrean. I'm sorry if I butchered that thing. Said, uh, we need a, a workroom tour. Uh, so it's not much in here. Uh, this is my, my walk-in closet too. So let me show y'all. So we got... My desk here. I got my grandma over there. We got all the materials. We got y'all right here. We got the uh, the heat press here. All right. So, and then we got all the all the supplies underneath in our uh, in our bins here. All right. So nothing nothing huge, nothing big, you know. Uh, but that's the first time I got that question, so I <laughs> I had to do it. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, where we at? Uh, Jennifer said, what, uh, what size paper do I use? Um, I use an eight and a half or yeah, eight and a half by 11. So thank you so much for coming to the live. Um, Kita said my 11 year old and, uh, uh, my 11 year old and I want to start a business doing this. Uh, make sure you contact me ASAP. Um, I would love to help. Um, I love when kids kind of get into that uh, that business mind frame. So feel free. Let me know if I can help in any way. Um, I, I would love to do that. All right. Um, Andrea, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Mayna, thank you for the follow. We got a... Uh, let me see. Let me see. Nicole said um, uh, she got good taste. Uh, what you complaining for? <laughs> Buy her that money coffee. <laughs> 
that that high A coffee. Yo, I get I get so tired of paying uh for vintes or whatever them things is called. You know, that thing is absolutely insane. But the the crazy part is she get it from the market and then still got to go to Starbucks. What is the point? That's all I'm saying. You know, I ain't hating on nobody, but that's all I'm saying. All right, let me see. <laughs> let me see. Um, I am Skyla Star said, uh, what size uh, is my image? So, I, I try not to tell you guys the size of my image. And it's, it's not because I'm gatekeeping. It's only because uh, you guys, sometimes you guys don't get the same materials I have as far as like sock jigs and stuff, right? So, um, I always encourage you guys to measure your sock yourself uh, with uh, a flexible, uh, like a sewing uh, tape measure, just so you can get the correct dimensions for yourself, right? Uh, but aside from that, um, I do use a 9.7 by uh, 7.5. So those are my di dimensions for uh, for my socks, all right? So again, if it works for you, that's fine. Uh, but if it doesn't and you're still having problems with, uh, you know, making it seamless, then you have to, like, measure it yourself. But I encourage you guys to do that anyway, all right? Uh, Sydney B, thank you so much for, uh, for the follow. Meek Million here, thank you so much for the follow. Sabrina, thank you for the follow. Uh, let me see. Uh, Jay, Mr. Jay Marie said, yeah, I definitely, um, <laughs> I was definitely shaking. Uh, you giving me a headache. My bad, my bad, Prima. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let me see. Uh, where we at? Uh, Nicole said, I have a question. Do you do all over, um, on crew socks? Um, and how do you handle, uh, the hill part? So I do, I have a, a sublimation course for the all over shock socks, uh, for the full length, right? Um, I can show you one of them here. All right, these are our Fine and Nemo socks. Now, this is the back here. This is our heel, right? So we press out our heel first before we do anything else, right? Because if we don't press out our heel first, then we will uh, press it uh, to where it has like the heel is bent down or, or creased down onto the sock. So that when you, uh, when you pop it out and you wear it on your foot, then you'll have that white heel. So what I like to do is I like to just press out the heel first. Um, and then uh, it's still you, you can still put on on your foot uh, the same way It won't distort the sock, but you just won't see it uh, when you when you're in print mode, right? So now you can have a full color uh, a Sock as opposed to uh, just having a white heel. All right So that's our uh, our full length sock. Uh, let me see. Let me see Where we at? Um, let me see Oh, y'all getting these comments in. I appreciate you guys. Um, let me see. <laughs> Kita said, come on, Saint. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Um, uh, Emporian said, uh, what's those shoes? Uh, so my shoes are, uh, if you're talking about my sneakers, my sneakers are uh, Puma. They're like, uh, I believe they are RXS or RSX, something, something like that. Um, I really, I love those. Uh, so those are my favorite shoes. Um, or my favorite style of, of shoes from Puma. Um, uh, Robert Diller, thank you so much for sharing the live. Um, Queen said, uh, you need to give me, you need to give, wait, you need me to give you a, a lesson on selfie stick tripod. <laughs> um, if you can help a brother out, then and definitely let me know, you know? All right, so we're going to get to, get back to this tutorial and then we're going to get back to y'all questions. So let me see if I can, uh, maneuver this thing. A little better all right so we got that so next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our aluminum foil all right and I know you guys like mr. socks what are we what are we doing with the aluminum foil uh, we're not baking chicken we're not in the kitchen what we doing right so what we're doing is we're going to use our aluminum foil to be able to extract the ink from our seams right because we don't want to uh, press this um, uh, up top here flip it over press it again and then we still won't be able to target our seams, right? Because whatever the heat press touches is, you know, that's what it'll uh, expose, right? That's what um, it'll uh, pretty much uh, heat up. It won't heat up the sides because it can't reach the sides, right? It won't like, uh, you know, uh, trickle over just because it's aluminum. It won't do that, all right? So which, what we need is we need uh, something that can wrap around a sock that can uh, conduct that heat or hold that heat um in order to expose uh or extract the ink from our sides as well all right so we'll, that's what we're going to do here so we're going to place it face down here all right and then we're going to fold it in half 
so that'll take care of this side of the seam the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh pick it up here and we're going to cuff it behind a sock jig and that'll take care of this side of the seam right now what we're going to do is we're going to slightly pull towards uh towards us so that we can create that snug fit uh with the aluminum foil right so we're just going to pull it here and then we're going to tape it up all right, just so we can tape it in place, and we're going to uh, keep doing that all the way down the sock here. So we're just going to pull and tape. Now, don't go beast mode on this or anything. Um, uh, keep in mind that it's still aluminum foil, so we want it to uh, not to break or, you know, it's, it's still super fragile. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Don't pull too hard because you will tear it. All right, so we're going to just tape it to the sock jig on both sides. All right, and this is how it should look. So we got that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a, a, what we call our rub test, right? So we're just going to run our finger up and down our seam here. If we don't hear anything, we know we're good to go. We wrapped it the, uh, the correct way, right? But if we hear anything that sounds like aluminum foil here, we know we have to go back to the drawing board and wrap that bad boy again or just, you know, completely start over. All right, so we got that. Let's uh, wrap up our next one here and then we're going to uh, get back to the questions before we press. All right, so we're going to smooth that thing out here. All right, let's fold it up. So we're gonna fold it in half here, right? We're gonna lift it up, cuff it behind uh, the sock jig. All right, and then we're gonna just pull slightly so that we can create that snug fit and then tape it in place. We're gonna do that all the way down that sock again. All right. So we have that let's do our last one here then we'll tape it to the sock jig on both sides all right and then we're going to do our rub test we don't hear anything we know we're good to go this is how it should look all right so we're going to place it here on our um heat press and then i'm gonna get back to your questions uh and then we'll press this thing up all right so let's see um let's see let's see where we at uh build a legacy thank you so much for the follow jane thank you so much for sharing the live uh trina and jada or trina slash jada thank you so much uh for the follow i appreciate you uh sweet deals a uh, llc said um are you using regular sub paper i am not i'm using regular copy paper all right by hammer mill so i have a link for that in my bio uh custom t-shirts and creations thank you so much for the follow um let me see uh kita said uh okay i i will thank you uh we are in houston let's go we in houston we neighbors <laughs> we neighbors <laughs> let them know you know uh let me see uh woodchucks um thank you so much for the follow uh queen v <laughs> 2 l said uh your beard uh love your beard thank you so much for that i appreciate you uh let me see let me see uh the high thank you so much for sharing the live jane thank you so much for the follow um, Aunt Nation says, sup, bro, salute. I appreciate you, my man. Um, I'm a personal assistant uh, with Braxton's, and I would love to work on, uh, with something on you. Uh, with with uh, with <laughs> with you on something. Uh, <laughs> Lord, thank you so much, bro. Uh, make sure you hit me up. Go to my IG, um, and we can chop it up and see what we can do, you know? Uh, so thank you so much for coming to the live. Um, let me see. What else we got? Uh, Zebra said, uh, what sublimation uh, paper do you use? I use hammer mill. It's a regular copy paper, not sub paper. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, Ant Nation, thank you so much for the follow. Jay Marie said it's an addiction. It absolutely is. Uh, so don't, don't say we ain't tell you. Don't say we ain't tell you. Uh, Nate Rilla, thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank you so much for the hanging lights, my man. I appreciate you. Uh, Nate Rilla, thank you so much for the follow um no other way said i tried the foil and it worked perfectly thank you so much for coming and saying that i appreciate you bro um make sure y'all tag me i want to see y'all work i want to see how it came out uh for you guys so make sure y'all tag me when y'all uh when y'all try it i would love to see what you guys are doing all right uh let me see let me see uh where we at where we at uh man y'all throwing these comments in here heather thank you so much for the follow danielle thank you for the follow sweet deals thank you so much for the follow uh danielle said hi what's going on with you my love thank you so much for coming to the live 
Um, hands first CPR said uh, your colors are uh, very vibrant. Uh, what settings do you use? Um, so I wouldn't be able to tell you the settings that I use uh, just right off the bat. Just and, and that's only because um, I don't have it right in front of me. Um, so if you contact me uh, or send me an email, I can send you the settings. Um, I also, if you want to learn how to do socks um, from start to finish, whether it's the half length that we're doing right now or the full length, make sure you contact me or go to my uh, the link in my bio. Um, I have a course on my website um, that'll uh, show you from beginning to end how to format your artwork uh, and uh, do your designs on Procreate. Uh, it'll, it'll show you all of that. All right. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, Pam Jackson, thank you so much for the, uh, for sharing the live. I appreciate you. Uh, Tranquil, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Tamika said, thank you. You're welcome, my love. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the follow. Um, so let's get into that thing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to press this bad boy up at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Now, if you don't know your heat press, please get to know it, right? Because you don't want to press this up at... Uh, light pressure you don't want to press it up at medium pressure you want to press it up at heavy pressure if you do not press it up at heavy pressure you will still get those faint uh, white lines on the side of your sock it will not expose the right way right so just make sure that you're pressing it up at heavy pressure all right and don't put too much pressure on it where it uh, it, it puts too much pressure on your actual heat press all right we're not trying to d uh, damage our equipment or anything um, and this is not a jab uh, to uh, to Nicole or anything but uh, just because she had the issue I wanted to you know make it a disclaimer for you guys I don't want you to mess up your equipment or anything um, just because you're putting way too much pressure all right so just get to know your heat press so we're going to press this up. We're going to place it face down here. All right. We have our Teflon sheet uh, that's acting as a barrier between the heat press and our socks. And we just want to press it up again at 400 degrees for 60 seconds at heavy pressure. All right. So let's see what we talking about here. Um, Jay Marie said, um, hey, I just got home and found your package with my custom socks. Thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, for, for all our winners. Um, I, I know it, it took me a long time, but we had like a uh, situation after situation coming up. Uh, so that's why I couldn't like send everything out right when I wanted to. Uh, but I didn't want to leave y'all hanging and I was tired of them socks just sitting there. Uh, so I wanted to get it out to you guys, uh, ASAP. So I didn't have to worry about them just sitting there. Right. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for always coming to my sock giveaways. We may, it may be a while before we can do our next one because we're trying to push out so much uh, content and different services for you guys. Uh, but once uh, we get all of that pushed out, we're going to get back to our, um, our giveaways. Uh, so just stay tuned for that. All right. Uh, let me see. Headlock, thank you so much for the follow. We got Sue in the building. What's going on with you, Sue, from the UK? Thank you so much for being here. All right. So what we're going to do here, let's turn this, all right? So what we're going to do here is we're just going to uh, smack it up, flip it, rub it down, all right? <laughs> That's just Mr. Socks Talk for flip that thing, all right? So we're going to flip it here, and then we're just going to press it again, all right? Super simple, super easy. Uh, Ms. Wilson said, I don't remember seeing an all-over shirt nor a sock on your YouTube videos. Um, am I overlooking it? Um... Uh, I did not. So we've, we've done that a while ago. Um, as far as the, the full length sock, uh, we did that in, uh, TikTok. Um, but I don't think it's available to me right now because it only goes back three months. So I would have to go all the way back to see if we're within that time frame. Um, I don't actually think that we are, but I'll check it anyway to see if I, if I still have that, um, that all over, uh, uh, video. All right. So I'll check it out. Um, Jessney uh, said, uh, sounds like it would work uh, for uh, wristlets too. Um, definitely try that bad boy <laughs> and let me know how it does. All right. Um, let me see. M uh, Smithery said, why not just uh, fold, fold the second uh, flap? Um, honest question, no disrespect. So it's no disrespect, guys. I don't take offense to you guys' questions. Um, now, it may work for you. I, all I'm saying is the way that I started out doing it is that's how I continue to do it. So it's not that, um, if, if you guys try, you know, try it different ways, it won't work for you. I don't know. I just know that I, I found a way 
to do it and that's how I continue to do it so if you do it that way feel free let me know how how it works for you um, but you know like I said when I when I found uh, the method um, and I started to like uh, test it and do different things that's what I came up with and so that's what I stuck with so it's no you know please uh, uh, prove me wrong uh, do it a different way show me cuz I love to see like um, how you guys kind of flip it and making your own um, so it's not where you got to do it my way and and that's it feel free uh, step outside the box do it how you want to do it whatever is comfortable for you I know the ladies uh, <laughs> I know the ladies be having like the long nails and stuff and sometimes they can't do it that way so you know everybody does it a different way we just make sure that we get the same result which is uh, crispy seamless socks all right so do it however you want to it's completely up to you all right so what we're going to do here is we're just going to let this sit for about two minutes right so we're just going to take it off the heat press here all right and we're just, we're going to let it sit for uh for about two minutes until it comes down to room temperature now we don't want to go uh, uh christmas mode and go and and start ripping the the aluminum foil and paper off our sock right because the ink is not completely cured it's not completely dry and so we can disturb the ink we don't want to do that so we're just going to let it come down let it cool down and then we can go and, and do our pill and reveal all right um so let me just a uh, answer any questions that you guys may have uh before we get to that uh that point uh let me see let me see uh i'm all the way up here man i ain't gonna be able to deal i ain't gonna be able to deal uh let me see um i am skyla said can we use uh sub paper yes absolutely you can um misha said are you using sub ink yes i am i'm using the ink called wocock i have a, a link in my bio for that uh dreamy uh said hello from florida what's going on florida thank you so much for coming to the live um excuse me virginia said uh so tempted um uh, to attempt sublimation um like i need another <laughs> like like i need another craft to do we gotta do what we gotta do we crafty be crafty you know you can't you can't limit yourself do that thing that's all i'm saying do that thing uh let me see um shirley turner said um i didn't catch the start i'm so sorry for that um but hopefully um you can go to my youtube channel and i have many other videos of me doing other socks so feel free uh to definitely go check that out all right um let me see let me see uh and said you're going fast <laughs> if i'm going fast guys go to my youtube channel make sure you subscribe i have so many different videos of so many uh, different socks that i've done uh and these are lives from tiktok so go over there watch the different um socks that i've done um and you can you know rewind it fast forward it um and it'll be a lot better better for you than uh seeing me do it live all right because it's a lot that you may not catch the first time you watch it so feel free go over there uh subscribe to your boy and we're gonna get into that thing all right um custom vinyl design said uh mr socks how are you i'm great thank you so much for coming i appreciate you uh miss busy b uh follow me thank you so much for that mark follow me thank you so much for that uh t-rez said um how'd you figure out uh the foil trial and error yes absolutely so um i don't like telling the story <laughs> I don't like telling the story because my sister think that she owned like a quarter of my business just because she kind of gave me the idea. Uh, so I'm going to just go over it, right? So um, when I was trying, I was making socks at first, right? And I didn't like the, the broken up look where you just uh, pick a design, you press the front, uh, you roll your edges, and then you press, you t you know, flip it over and you press it again. I didn't like how the image was broken up, right? Uh, so I started doing like some research to see if I could find a method where... Um, I can get like a 360 design where, you know, the, the where the design would be uh, pretty much uh, a seamless look, like uh, like a professional look, right? So when I was talking to my sister, uh, you know, uh, probably, probably about a couple weeks before that, uh, she was saying that she wanted to use aluminum foil when she ironed her clothes because, um, you know, it, it ironed, when you iron it, um, you know, you, you pretty much get the wrinkles out a lot faster without necessarily having to use starch, Right. Um, so for some reason that, you know, stuck out to me, uh, when I started to test. Right. And so when I, when I got to it, uh, I, I was looking up, you know, tumblers and seeing that how you guys, you know, wrap the, the design around the tumbler, um, and then you overlap it to create that, that seamless look. That's what you're trying to achieve. Right. And so I figured, you know, why can't I use that same concept for, for sock jigs? 
um, even though they're flat and they're not round, right? So I just started testing from there. Um, I started testing without the alumina, alumina foil first, right? And it was coming out okay. Um, you know, we still had uh, the white lines going up and down our sock, our seam, but it wasn't necessarily... Um, uh, it was it was exposing a little bit, but not too much, right? So I said something like kind of stuck out to me and said, you know, why not use the aluminum foil? So I I did it one time. I wrapped it and I went to the kitchen, got the aluminum foil because uh, we had the sheets at the time, and I was like, okay, what what if I wrap it um, and see if it'll uh, if if it'll expose the colors around the full sock? I did it that first time and it came out super magical so i just kind of went from there and started promoting getting uh you know the courses together so that i can teach you guys uh this method so long you know that's not even a long story short uh but <laughs> um that was pretty much how i came up with the idea um and and why you're you're looking at me today all right so thank you so much for that i appreciate you uh for asking uh let me see uh let me see let me see uh, <laughs> uh t red said um uh, she cracking up. Gotta give uh, the sister her props uh, and her percentage. She thinks that she she deserves a percentage. I'm gonna give her uh, <laughs> probably less than that, uh, and then we're gonna rock with it. You know, we actually was just talking about it yesterday um, <laughs> about her percentage. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to figure that out. Um, let me see. Uh, Jennifer said, "I need to figure out a seamless design uh, for my special Olympics team for socks. That is a great idea." Um, if you need help with that, feel free to let me know. I would uh, love to do that uh, for free. Uh, so feel free to send me a message um, and the logo, whatever you got to do. Email me so I can um, uh, be a part of that. That would be absolutely amazing. All right. So we got our uh, our design. We uh, we should be good to go. Let's get into this pill. Can I get a, a, a drum roll in this thing? Let me get a drum roll out this piece. All right. So we, again, we did our design in Procreate. If you want to get into the Procreate class, um, our next one starts. Uh, thank you so much for uh, uh, for the hanging lights, ants. I, I appreciate you. All right. So if you want to get into the next Procreate class, make sure you go to the link in the bio um, and sign up for that thing. I think it's the first option. Um, so make sure you sign up for it before September 7th. If you do that, then you'll be able to get in that September 7th class, right? Um, you can get in instantly if you wanted to go into it right now without having uh, to wait for me to uh, reply and send you the information. You can sign up instantly um, by going to the link in my bio. It'll say uh, Procreate Class, um, Instant Access PayPal, or Instant Access uh, um, Cash App, and you'll be able to send your donation for that class. Now, it is exactly what I said. It's a donation. It's not a set price for the class. It's whatever you, you can afford for the class all we're trying to do is teach you how to use the program so that you can incorporate it into your business all right so whatever you can afford for the class um you that's what you send and you know in order to get into the class for those five weeks all right so thank you so much for the <laughs> for the drums oh lizzie i see you with the african drums in there <laughs> let's go so we're gonna get into this pill hold on let me see what we doing here hold on let me turn this a little bit Cause it's getting a little sketchy. Hold on. Let me turn this bad boy. There we go. There we go. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Hold on. We might have to pull this bad boy out. Cause we might have to get ghosts. We might have to get ghosts out this thing. Hold on. All right. There we go. Here we go. All right. So let's get into this pill. Let's see, let's see. Oh, oh my God. I ain't gonna be able to do that thing. Oh, look. Oh my. I ain't gonna be able to do that thing. I ain't gonna be able to do that thing. Oh my God. Did y'all see that bad boy? <laughs> Did y'all see that bad boy? Oh Lord. Why that thing look. Oh Lord. Why that thing look so crispy? Oh my God. I ain't gonna be able to do that thing. I ain't gonna be able to do that thing. Why is it so crispy like that? What in the world? <laughs> what in the world? What's going on here? Oh my god! That oh my god! That thing. Look at Stitch. Look at Stitch in that thing. I ain't gonna do that thing. Oh my god! Oh my god! Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Oh my god! Did y'all see that? Oh my god! Did y'all see that? Oh my god! Did y'all see that? Oh 
<laughs> that thing's so crispy. That oh my god, look at them seams though. Look at them seams. That's all I'm saying. I ain't gonna better do that thing. Hold on, we're gonna have to pull this thing off. We're gonna have to get into a 360 because y'all think I'm playing. Y'all think I'm playing out these parts. Oh my let me let me do let me use my pinkies. Because y'all think it's a fluke out this thing. When I when I use my hands, they be like, oh Mr. Sock's stretching that thing. You know? He's stretching it. Nah, nah. Let's do it for the haters. Let's do it for the haters in this thing. Oh my god. Check it out. Check that thing out. I ain't gonna be able to do it. I ain't gonna be able to do that thing. I see you, Sue. Sue said, put that thing on the tumbler. <laughs> Crafty said, put that thing on the tumbler. Let's go. <laughs> my pre, my jazz, Jay Marie said, put that thing on the tumbler. Hold on. Put that thing on the tumbler. We about to get into it. We about to get into this thing. Hold on. Because y'all playing with me. Y'all playing with these seams, though. Oh, my. Is that a seam? Oh, my God. That's a seam. Uh, flip that bad boy off. Oh, my God. That's another seam. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Oh, my God. That's a 360 on them. That is a 360 on them. I ain't going to be able to do it. That thing's so crispy. That thing's so crispy. Let me do it again. Let me peel that bad boy back again because y'all think it's a fluke out these parts. Hold on, let me see. Let me see, hold on. Oh my God. Oh Lord. Mr. Socks done did it again. He done did that bad boy again. Hold on. Oh Lord. I can better do it. I can better do that thing. That thing too hot to touch. That thing too hot to touch, bro. Look at them seams though. Where the seams at? Where the seams in the back, though? <laughs> oh, my God. Let me see what y'all talk about. Because this got, it, it, it got, it, something got to give. Something got to give out these parts. Hold on. Uh, Jennifer said, damn, that thing's super sharp. <laughs> that thing's super sharp. <laughs> let's go. Uh, my primo said, walk it out. Hey, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Sue said, my favorite part, the tumbler. Let's go, Sue. You know how we do. G Mom Twenty said, "Yeah, that thing crispy." <laughs> she said, "That thing crispy." Uh, let me see. Kita said, "Uh, uh, let me get the uh, let me get them for my daughter. How much?" <laughs> oh my God. Kita said, "How much is them socks?" I'm trying. I'm trying to figure it out. You know, Kita, make sure you hit me up. Send me an email. We're gonna talk about that thing. You know, but honestly, I don't. I don't even really sell socks no more. Uh. <laughs> But if you want me to make them personally, if you see a, a sock design that you like, make sure you hit me up. Um, I usually charge $20 for the half length. Um, so if you want me to send you out the socks that I make, make sure you contact me uh, via email and say, Mr. Socks, I need them things. Ship, ship them out to me. Ship them bad boys out to me. You know? Let me see. Uh, Jay Marie said, them seams is crispy. Let's go. Baby Mama said, ooh. <laughs> Baby mama said, oh, you know, Breezy said, uh, them things perfect. That's all I'm saying. Headlock said, oh, flawless. You know, what, what, what y'all girls say, period. <laughs> okay. Oh, what y'all say all the time, period. That's all I'm saying. You know, that's all I'm saying. Jay Marie said, look at Stitch popping out. That's all I'm saying. Look at that bad boy. You know, oh, Lord, I ain't gonna ever do that thing. I ain't gonna be able to, that thing too hot to touch. That's all I'm saying, bro. Hold on. We at 6.8K likes right now. Thank you guys so much for that. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> Tiff said, and that's on period. <laughs> wow, well, I saw a video the other day on TikTok. And the boy, he, he was kind of, he kept trying to say it. And that's on period. You know? Shaking his head. That, that's on period. I'm about to start saying that. You know? Uh, let me see. Kita said uh, she goes to Lanier Middle School, uh, so she needs to be fresh. That's what I'm talking about. You know? That's what I'm talking about. Uh, well, let me see. Pamela M. said, uh, let me see. Uh, Socks is colonial. Colonials. Uh, what's that say? What's that say? Uh, I, don't, I don't even know. It's extra crispy. <laughs> I don't know what Pamela M. trying to say or if I'm reading it wrong. Let me know. You know? Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. 
Uh, Jay Marie said, uh, snapping your drinkers. <laughs> snapping your drinkers. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, G Mom said, dang, I missed the whole live. That's why I'm, we can't, we can't have that, G Mom. We can't have that thing. All right, we're going to get out of here, y'all. We're going to get out of here. Let's get to these, uh, these winners. Let me see. Let me see what I want y'all to see and uh, say in the comments so that y'all can get this free design. We're going to pick, uh, six people, uh, to get this free design. So let me see. What are we gonna say in this thing? Put, put uh put stitch in the comments if you wanna win this design. You know? I, I now hold on. I was reading it wrong. She said that was I kept saying, what am I saying wrong? <laughs> she said the colonel. The colonel, you know. <laughs> Yo, I knew I was reading that thing too fast, you know? Jeez. That thank you so much, Pamela, for that. You know? Jeez, let me see. Let me see. I come saying in my head, I'm reading that thing wrong. You know, I'm reading it wrong. Let me see. I couldn't get it together in my head. All right, we're going to get our winners out here. I see y'all uh, y'all dropping it in there. We got T-Rez is number one. We got Lil Lizzie in here that's number two. We got uh, Miles in here. That's number three. We got Cat. That's number four. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Cat uh, is number four. Uh, Jennifer is number five. We got Ant Nation in this thing is number six, and Kita is number seven. Thank you so much, guys, for uh for participating. Make sure y'all go to the link in the bio and type and, and and uh uh click on the link that says email me. When you go to email me, make sure you put Mr. Socks I won, so I can see you guys the design. Now don't don't email me next week. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Don't email me next week and be like, Mr. Socks, I won last week. You got to email me today so we can get it to you today, you know? Because Mr. Socks' brain ain't, ain't where, what it used to be, you know? I'm getting old, and all I'm saying is I forget. <laughs> because my next question going to be, what was the design? And we don't want to go through that, you know? We got to have it fresh in my head so that we can get to that thing. So make sure <laughs> you email me today so we can get you that design today, you know? That's all I'm saying. So I love you guys so so much. Make sure y'all go to the uh, to the Facebook uh, to the Facebook and get uh, get in our group. Um, the link is in the bio for that. Make sure you go go to the, the YouTube. Uh, if you want to win this design, if you didn't win today and you want to win, make sure you go to the YouTube and subscribe to your boy. Send me a screenshot of your subscription, and then say, "Mr. Socks, I need the, that uh, that that Starbucks design so I can get it to you." All right. So that's the other way you can win that thing. If you didn't win um, out of the seven people, if you want to go to my YouTube and subscribe to your boy, um, then I'll send you the design just for subscribing. All right. So I love you guys so, so much. If you want to get into that Procreate class, make sure you go to the link in the bio. Sign up for that thing. It's donation based. We're not trying to dig in your pockets. We're just trying to teach you, you know. So I love y'all so, so much. Please understand that you're capable of doing whatever you want to do. You just got to decide and have faith in yourself like I have faith in you. All right. So like I always say, never sit in your fears. Come on, Tiff. Come on, Jamie Ray. Uh, Jamie Marie, get your match up and plow through that thing. I love y'all. Peace.